Hi everyone, I'm Martin, aka Steve McQueen, and welcome back to Project Cars. Okay, uh, we're continuing on today. We have a invitational race in the BMW M1. A beautiful car, my favourite car as a as a younger child. Love the body shape, love the power. Um, so yeah, we're driving the BMW M1. We're at Spa. Um, yeah, practice didn't go well. Um, just could not get a handle on the on the vehicle. Um, so we ended up in 16th, which was last. Uh, went to qualifying. Uh, made a few slight changes, basically to um, tyre pressures, and we got nowhere. We <laughs> ended up in 16th. Uh, so we're going to the race in 16th position, i.e. last, and uh, we'll see how we go. Oh, sh crikey, there are four rounds. Uh, this is going to be interesting. So I've pushed everything up to uh, session length is 100%, uh, so six laps. Uh, opponent skill is ace is what I normally run. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. Beautiful BMW M1 historic GT4. Okay, so there we are. We are in 16th position. Uh, I don't think we're going to need to change tyres after six laps, so that will be honky-dory. I would like to change the fuel though, um, but I can't seem to find the fuel. <laughs> uh, yeah, force feedback, yeah, I'll back that off a bit just so I'm not breaking my arms. And yeah, I can't seem to find, oh shoot, did I change then? Can't seem to find fuel anywhere. Uh, yeah, whatever. Uh, pit strategy. Uh, no, don't want a pit strategy. Why can't I change my fuel? All right, so we're starting with 50 litres of fuel to do six laps, which is a bit crazy, but never mind. We will get into it and see how we go. Hopefully I can make up a couple of positions. Um, a lot of power, very heavy car, um, basically drifting it out of every corner. But, yeah, let's have a look. So here we are at Spa beautiful BMW M1 and yeah we're looking down the hill to Eau Rouge.
Tenez, tenez.
only halfway through. There again, in history, the series was super aggressive. Uh, the BMW M1, they were so powerful, they actually uh, got banned from GT Racing. They had to uh, have their own series, hence why it's, the whole field is BMW M1s. Um, and yeah, beautiful cars, but very powerful. And uh, yeah, they rode off quite a lot of them. Steering there, which is making it very difficult to steer. Yeah, all the same, beautiful car, but yeah, the series was very aggressive. <coughs> and obviously they carried the AI through for that series. tell you how many times I've tried to do this race. Every single race again. Every single time I get taken out. Every single time. Doesn't matter how much cream you give them. They uh, just elbow you out the way, they're on the grass, they're through the, through the sand traps. And being such a powerful car, they spin up these rear tyres so fast. That, what am I, lap five now? The tyres are pretty much shot. Sure. Yeah, but good fun though. I'd rather have finished the race. And not in 16. That's the way it goes. Can't win them all. Feel those tyres flying. Slide on turning. Slide on acceleration. 
understeer in and oversteer out. Bring it home. Not to any fanfare or flag waving. That's okay. In relatively one piece. I guess with more time to know the vehicle too, get a setup and actually dialed in for this vehicle, <coughs> things could be better. Just getting thrown in. So last lap. Take it, take it. Carefully. Bring it home. So the team one. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Relatively one piece. As you can see, tyres are pretty shot. <coughs> Sorry, I got a bit of a cold too. front brakes. Circumstances, anyway, so they to shove you out the way. Here we come. Last corner. Down the hill. Over the line. No one in sight. Okay. Came sixteenth. <laughs> Ah, uh, let's have a look at the replay. Yeah, made a good start. I'll thread my way through the... through the traffic, which uh, as you can see are everywhere. up the inside and jam on the anchors I'll pull up a little bit uh, I'll break a little bit earlier I guess I've got some better grip through the corner at least I just have to throw it in and they stick somehow as you can see it's pretty aggressive a lot of shoving and push each other off the track. So 
so I think I was in seven at this point. Um, I knew I wasn't going to finish in seven, but uh, I was hoping to at least at least be a uh, couple of positions better off than sixteen. But anyway, that's how it goes. Going well, as you can see, they're closing on me through those tighter sections. It's pretty quick through here. I always break early <coughs> to the chicane, and that's when they close right up. So they're, clo they're breaking a lot later. But if I break any later, then there you go, shove. I normally end up going straight on. Oh, I've got the position back again. Yeah, beautiful cars. Beautiful. Very powerful. You can hear them all shoving each other. There you go, shove, shove, push each other off the road. Point going pretty well, pretty happy. Got a second gap behind me, a second gap in front of me. This is where I'm slower through these twister sections because I break earlier. I don't want to spin the wheels up too much. I'm trying to look after them. Oop, cut through the ball over there. This is where they really close up on me through these sections. Just trying to feather that throttle around that uh, downhill off camber, always understeer there. So they're pretty much on me now. Keep missing that apex through there. Remember I got to turn in later, not earlier. through these corners I'm pretty slow. I can't believe the amount of speed they carry. So yep they're all over me. Whoa! We got drilled in the rear end. Whoa! They're on the curb. Now I'm in trouble. There you go, down the grass. On the Astro Turf. Oof, just managed to uh, hold them off. Through the fast left hand kink. And early on the brakes. This is where it all goes wrong, I'm sure. Get them close up. Yeah, nudge, nudge. No, managed to get through there. They're all pushing and shoving and knocking each other off the track. As they do. Back down the hill again. Managing to hold these guys out, but not for long. As you can see, the gap in front has opened. And these guys are definitely closer. Hill, I move over to the right we break earlier. They're so much later on the brakes, and then they're all over me. Trying to spin the wheels up, and they're off the track, they're nipping left, nipping right. How he got past me there, I just don't know. So aggressive. So I've let one through, so I'm back to eight. Just 
then turned in too early, just pushing me wide. That lets him close up. And down to these corners. Yeah, a bit slower than entry here, yeah, especially through this S. We go side by side, knocking things. On the sand, in the sand. They still manage to keep going, I don't know how they do it. There you go, another one out. Yeah, they're crazy. So, to the back. Should the fast left hander. I'm on the track, they're out all over the place. This is where it all goes wrong, braking area. Out brake myself. Power on. That's a hip it, isn't it? That's where they get me. Break, break, break. Try and undercut. No, he gives me a shove. Then I get hit from behind. Turn into the wall. And that's it, they're all three. Except one. Now he's through too. Need to do that. I was <coughs> watching him in front of me. Oh, must have tagged him. Yeah, steering damage. And that's it. I don't catch them, so not much point watching the rest of it but uh, anyway guys hope you enjoyed that um, I'll pause it here because it's been quite a long uh, a long race so um, yeah thanks for watching I'm Steve McQueen and yeah we'll catch you in the next episode thanks guys see you later